Hi guys, mm, today we are going to see how to set up Apple Ledger in our local machines. So to do this, uh, I'm using a Mac now. So this will be better in Mac or a Linux environment better than whatever for this unique kind of distributions. So let's start the process. So to start with Hyper Ledger, we will need some software to be installed previously. Okay. The first one is Xcode. The purpose of Xcode is so we can um, do those command line kind of tools like instructions. This will require Xcode. So we need to install this Xcode. I'll show you how. We'll be installing this from App Store. This is available as a developer tool. I already installed this. This will take approximately 30 to 40 minutes if you have a good internet connection. This installation takes a little bit of time. So application after translation will be available here. You can see this. So the next one we need to install more. No, is uh, uh, local Java JavaScript runtime. So we will be using some of these packages. Kind of like fabric client to co communicate with the hyperledger Chenko. So, we will discuss about that later. So, now I'm going to show how to install my services. We can download Node.js from this official website. It's better to go for this version 6.9 plus this uh, version 7 plus doesn't support in Apple Ledger fabric for now uh, or you can go for this 8 plus version so I have already installed this node.js now we can check the version by so up to 7 point 6.xx it will be supported by Hyperledger Fabric. So, next we will need Ruby. So, the Ruby is required to install Brew. So, once we install Brew, we can install Python Go using that. Uh, I'm not going to discuss about that because it's going to learn the process. So, install Ruby then. We'll need to install this brew and we will have to install these both languages. So let's go further. So Docker. So this application is Hyperledger application is basically running in Docker. So there are some containers like fabric, peer, um, orderer, client upgrade, certificate authority, which are running on Docker. So we will need to install docker as well, which can be downloaded in from official website itself. So this doesn't come with an UI default. So we will be running here like this one. So we will not be able to see what are the containers which we install. For that I am using different kind, a different tool, which is schematic, schematic, sorry. Atmatic. This is a dashboard where we can see the containers which are installed. So this docker is basically configuration kind of tool. So these are all the containers available. Please go through this docker installation process and learn some basics on docker so you can easily understand the further process on blockchain. So 
the steps from here will be for IBM blockchain which is they have customized their own version uh, so we'll be developing everything using fabric background if you are not if you don't want to go IBM way uh, you can use software development kit tools and this composer images to set up your own chain code and then peer configurations so if you want to continue using blockchain in hyper uh, IBM way you uh, can use this and then this this also can be configured so uh, set up and run from local okay let's start um, these commands to run these commands you will need node.js to be installed so I've already installed this node.js and these commands as well so I'm running through again so we have this this will take some time so I'm skipping this process because I'm already installed so we will need to install composer client generate uh, hyper ledger composer composer the server where they can communicate with the uh, communicate with the playground using a restful ap server so you can utilize this uh, web server for your applications so this is you so this will generate you angular to application or CLI application using some options you will be uh, I'll show you okay I'll be shown some options to select the name of the application and what kind of application you want to generate in this your package map uh, Okay, finally we can install this playground thing also. So I'll sh I'm going to show you how to run this playground. Composer hyphen playground. This will start the server and we got the fabric composer on our local machine. Okay. Okay. So we have three files here in Apple Ledger Composer Playground. So no model file where we'll define our assets, participants, and the transaction which are going to happen. So this is participant optional getting extended by from user. We select object uh, oops concept so we'll be extending this object properties from this abstract method participant user to this participant member with extra property here and no overrider properties here and this is optional because there's no need for its balance to be here okay. this is offer so this offer is like we need to write functions for this option offer so i'll show you same Close bidding is another function where we'll close the bidding and the highest bidder or uh, the bidder who bought it right away without going for this bidding process will get the core. Okay, so we'll be writing those transaction code in this logic file. Here we can see listing. close bidding listing so this close bidding class has this listing property so this listing property is type of vehicle listing this vehicle listing has listing ID reserve price description and the offers which are bidded for this particular asset so we'll get the listing object and then We'll check if it's for sale 
properties there in the state which here this listing state is an enum so only possible value so this was sale reserve not met on the sale so we'll check if it's for sale if it's for sale we will go through some business logics and then whoever has the highest offer will get transferred so here we are reducing the balance of the buyer who has successfully bought this vehicle and then the vehicle owner name is changed to the buyer which is member object so I'll show you who okay. this vehicle property will have member as owner so this membership has been assigned here okay after buying so we'll, we are emptying this array just because we shall sold this object already so this code is ready for another team so here this is this is bidding process we can submit this transaction and if it's for sale we can bid the else we'll just show some error saying this is this call is not for sale simple as that so in an organization some some people might need access to some particular property so this owner can have access to this car which he wants the auctioner can have access to the cars which he is selling the manager can have access to all the things which are going to happen so who owns the car who builds the car who auctions the car so everything so this access control file is here where we can define this. so this user has all the access under auction so auction This is option on all the properties below this. So we will have access to vehicle listing state, vehicle listing everything. So we'll just the function. We can create participant, we can create member, asset, and vehicle listing. So for now, create your own asset and then create new asset, which will create data. So for now, we can to create random data so this data is now added with sold property without any person who owns that so this is wrong data so as in the business logic we can define our participants what is our asset what's going to happen using transaction 